Up next, a fresh investigation into the corruption of the Bidens underway. Uh, no, it's not Lindsey Graham, but we'll take it up with <laughs> Congressman Devin Nunes. Senator Ron Johnson says he'll have his first report on Hunter Biden's ties to the Ukrainian energy company Burisma in a month or two. The head of the Senate Homeland Security Committee says Americans should know why Hunter Biden was paid millions of dollars without any experience in the energy sector. Senator Lindsey Graham today says his Judiciary Committee isn't assisting with Johnson's investigation. Will you investigate the Judiciary Committee? No, I think uh, Ron Johnson's doing it. Yes, Ron Johnson is doing it. Uh, we just don't know what Senator Graham's doing. Joining us now, Congressman Devin Nunes, ranking member of the House Intelligence Committee, member of the House Ways and Means Committee, uh, and a great American. Let's, uh, let's start first with uh, Ron Johnson going after uh, Burisma uh, to find out what is actually going on while the rest of the Senate is, seems to be paralyzed. Uh, your thoughts? Well, first of all, welcome to the swamp. Well, thank you. You're not here very often. It's great to <laughs> thanks see for you sharing with me. Uh, look, this is uh, this should have happened during the impeachment hoax. Remember when we said Republicans said, "Look, we've had an investigation into Ukraine's meddling, why Ukraine was targeting President Trump." Through all that, now it's pretty obvious because of all the news stories that have come out that clearly whatever happened with that big contract that Hunter Biden got should have been answered during the impeachment hoax and would have had Republicans been able to call witnesses. And so, you know, now that the Senate Republicans have control, uh, Ron Johnson's been a good ally. He's, he's very familiar with the FISA abuse and the Russia hoax and the impeachment hoax. And look, if this was, if this was a Republican, okay, son, son of a Republican or a sibling or any relation to a Republican senator right. or congressman, it would be front page of every major newspaper in the country on every news show. It would be probably equal to the free airtime that Biden's got since Saturday, <laughs> which is a lot, <laughs> which, is, is a, which is a whole very, lot. Uh, a, uh, a considerable amount. Uh, the FISA court, very quickly, uh, do you support the president in seeking reform to that? Yeah, I think we need to. It's important for people to know about FISA that the FISA court was put in because of abuse. So we have to keep the FISA system, but Title I of FISA that's been in law since the late 70s needs to be changed. We can't allow our intelligence agencies and this court to be weaponized against a political party. And so the, the president is, exact, is exactly right. Um, we've had many members of the Republicans. I think we're all... Uh, on the same page that we have to change Title I of FISA to make sure these abuses don't happen. And it's clear, it's clear that we've got to reform the uppermost uh, uh, levels of the FBI, politically corrupt without question, uh, and, 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 and the, the Justice are, Department. The Democrats are going to try to sweep this under. See, of course. there's a section of FISA that's up for renewal right now. And I think that they're going to try to sweep this under the rug. They're just hoping because, look, FISA does do a lot of good things. It keeps us safe. But at the same time, it can't be used to target us. Yeah, it's, it's odd that it would be called the Foreign Intelligence Act because it's the intelligence and counterintelligence has been conducted against Americans, including a sitting president. It's stunning stuff. There are those, as you say, that are pushing for just a straight reauthorization with no changes, but the reality is uh, if that's the case, then the president could be uh, surveilled, uh, you and I could be surveilled, anyone could be looked at. And this, the F in FISA stands for foreign. We shouldn't be spying on Americans, and that's why we need to make some very serious deep reforms to make sure this doesn't happen again to anybody, regardless of your uh, political persuasion. Yeah, last question on this, Congressman. Uh, the New York Times is reporting that the FBI agents who uh, went to the FISA court and essentially misled them about the need to surveil Carter Page, uh, they've now been banned from going before that FISA court. Uh, that's an interesting step, but is that good enough for you? Is that really accountability, or should there be more? That's not really accountability. When you're going and representing to the court that you need to spy or surveil or seize records of somebody or wiretap somebody, and you mislead them, uh, you should be dismissed from service because you have, you've lied to the court, and dismissal is probably the least. You should be investigated to see if you've committed perjury, and if you have, then you should be prosecuted. Congressman Andy Biggs, uh, tackling a lot of tough subjects today. We appreciate you coming in, sir. Hey, thanks, Ed. Uh, March 15th.
FISA authorities expire. Would you, some of your members, FISA, FISA authorities yeah. expire, some of your members are willing to see it expire. Are you willing to no, see them expire? No. And secondly, some of your members also want to hold individuals who defied the subpoenas during the impeachment probe in contempt. Are you willing to see- Is that two different questions? Are we allowing people to have two different, completely yeah. different questions? Or, or yeah, should we move on to another person? <laughs> Uh, let me just start with FISA. You know, that's my wheelhouse intelligence. I've been there for almost all of the FISA legislation and the rest. No, we have to have an extent, uh, not an extent, we have to have an, uh, a reauthorization of FISA. Uh, we're having our own negotiations within our own group, but also uh, with, among the Democrats and vis a vis the Republicans. And as I said, we're hoping that we could be ready for something next week. But we, we will come to the floor when we're ready. I was very much opposed to putting a FISA bill. Uh, uh. That's all, folks.